lead the Indians as we head to the bottom half of the second inning, joined by a very special guest who's on hand here for the 20th anniversary of the 95 Indians AL Champions team. Dennis Martinez, El Presidente, joins us right now. The original from Nicaragua, and we have a Nicaraguan pitcher out there tonight. That's kind of in, uh, in unusual and probably exciting for you. Huh? Well, it's always uh, nice to see a young kid as uh, Erasmo Ramirez pitching for the Tampa Rays. Uh, watching him, his ability that he's able to do it because uh, in Seattle Mariners, I don't think he was able to do what he wanted to do. And right now, I can say, I can tell he's really happy. He's enjoying what he's doing, and he's learning that what he need to do. And I think the main factor has been Hickey, the pitching coach. I think he's the guy that he really set up with him and talked to him about it, the mindset. And I think that's all that kid needed, and I'm really happy for him. It's great to see you as we have it out here on a ground ball into the shift. You're here with part of the 95 team. A lot of good memories, a lot of good jokes being passed around this weekend. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's what one thing that we really miss, the camaraderie. You know, uh, we were, are, as a group, we were together. We were gamers, what we call it, gamers. You know, we, we were fooling around before the game, but with the bell ring, we were just all game face. So, you know, that was part of the, our, our, our time. And uh, so, you know, we missed that. But uh, other than that, we had a great ball time here. As Erasmo Ramirez deals here with one out, a foul ball, uh, you had a chance today before you went on the field for the ceremonies to see almost somebody join the perfect game club. Uh, Max Scherzer was one out away. What are your thoughts? Do, do you reflect back whenever a guy gets close to that great day against the Dodgers? Definitely. I always uh, rooting for those guys, too, because, I mean, it's not easy when you're in that situation and you're so close that you want to see everybody doing it because, you know, it's always great because those type of game that you never know what's going to happen. And uh, when we you there, you want to grab it, you want to get it. So I was, I was rooting for him all the time, but thing happened. You know, it's always something happened that you never know what's going to happen. But, you know, it's great to see some other guy do I, you know, do it. And I think Chaser was one of the guys closer that he could do it. Yeah, it was so close. Just a hit by pitch, and then he ends up at the no hitter. One of 23 all time, one of 21 in the modern era. Dennis Martinez with a perfect game. Going back to your uh, friendship with Erasmo Ramirez, we mentioned that a lot of Nicaraguan born players. I believe there's four active right now, but he's a guy that's been to your academy down in, in the country? Yes, yeah, Erasmo, he's been uh, in the area where we have our, our academy in Nicaragua. And he's a, one of the kids that his story is real good because he came for a. Uh, a family, you know, that they didn't believe what he was doing, but, you know, he always was playing baseball, and he wanted to play in baseball in his little town. So uh, he's a humble kid. He's a, he's a great kid. He really worked hard, and uh, I'm glad that he's with the Tampa Rays because I don't think he was treated the, the way that he was supposed to be treated at the Seattle Mariners. And, I, and, and when, that, when I saw that, I say that the best thing could happen to Erasmo Ramirez to be traded and move somewhere out. And in looking now, that he's in the right place with Hickey. I mean, you know, is, to me, Hickey is one of the best pitching coaches in baseball. And I think he's in the right place with the right team. And we've been looking for a lot of good year for Erasmo. Uh, great compliments for the Rays and for Jim Hickey. Do you feel like you mentioned he, his family wasn't sure that you have open doors, but there's still some convincing for kids and families down in Nicaragua to make baseball a lifestyle? Well, I mean, uh, this is a great opportunity for him, and uh, we're really proud of him because he's the only major league player that we have in our, for our country. So he represents our country right now, and I and I can imagine the way he feels because every you know it's, the country is on his shoulder. So uh, and he had to learn that that what it represents for our country right now. So and he takes responsibility to even work harder because everybody's on top of him, watching him what he's doing, and, and expecting to pitch real well every five day. Uh, because that's what that happened in my time. So now he's representing our country, and we are behind him 100%. And hopefully he will do his job to help the Tampa Rays to win the division. Well, that would be great for us. Uh, Dennis, it's such a pleasure to talk to you. We appreciate the time. Your career was so brilliant, and we thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you very much. All right, guys, back to you. All right, Todd.